Hey guys, so welcome to your general reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements uh, because anything could come up in this read. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what your shadow work is, what your shadow side is, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. And uh, for those of you guys that don't know what your shadow work is, what your shadow side is, basically it's getting in touch with a part of yourself that you repress. This is our dark side. We all have it. Part of our healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that. So we're just going to take a look and see what that is, okay? So Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius's shadow side, shadow work for uh, December 2023 for Aquarius, for Aquarius? What is um, Aquarius's shadow side, shadow work for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Page of Swords here and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. Two of Swords here and the Ten of Swords. Okay. I, mean, I do feel like you guys have been through a lot of pain and a lot of hurt here, and a lot of it stems from your childhood here. There's definitely an energy of lashing out here. Yeah, there's that energy of definitely lashing out because I feel like there's so much unprocessed pain, a lot of unprocessed hurt. It's being projected onto somebody here. Now, Aquarius, this doesn't have to be you. I mean, this could be someone that you know. This is this could be someone that you're dealing with here. It could be a romantic relationship here. Uh, perhaps if this is you, because of this, it has affected you in romantic relationships. It has affected you in friendships and and your relationship with uh, with your family members here. Okay. Yeah, I almost get the sense that with the Page of Swords, I do feel like someone here definitely does have a bit of a razor sharp tongue here, and I feel like there's something here that stems from someone's own childhood trauma and pain that they haven't processed yet. Perhaps a lot of pain and, uh, uh, and suffering that hasn't been processed in your adult life here. And like I said, it's being taken out on other people here. Okay, Page of Swords. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me of the King of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords here. Okay. I wouldn't say that someone here lacks empathy because I do feel like someone here is definitely very sensitive here. But I feel like there's a sense of not caring about other people, you know? So I don't know if, you know, this is so interesting, Aquarius, because I feel like this is not you. I feel like this is somebody else. Yeah, I really feel like this is somebody else here. But if this applies to you, that's fine too. Because like I said, keep in mind, these are general readings. This is not a personal reading here, okay? But I do feel like there's a sense of uh, someone here lashing out at people here. Uh, not really, you know, putting themselves in the, into other people's shoes here too. No, not putting yourself in in other people. Yeah, yeah. So we have the Seven of Swords here and the Queen, uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm. There's definitely a form of self-sabotage here. Yeah, and I, this is so interesting because I do feel like there is a situation here that where someone here definitely has like definitely has some sort of behavioral issues here. I do feel like someone here is definitely on a spectrum of, you know, a neurodivergence here, you know, such as maybe, you know, attention problems here. Uh, there's definitely some sort of a form of self-sabotage. There's definitely, uh, you know, being in denial about their behavior here, you know. Um, yeah, someone here is definitely, you know, uh, I do feel like someone here is definitely going through some sort of like mental suffering here. The Seven of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles here and the Two of Swords here and the Moon. Cancer Pisces here. I do get the sense that someone here is definitely running and hiding a part of themselves here. You know, I do feel like this is a part of themselves that they don't like to share with people and it, when it does come up in conversations, when it's kind of like, okay, someone here is offended, someone here 
becomes completely defensive and is sarcastic about it, you know, and doesn't really acknowledge someone else's pain. I really feel like this is somebody else, Aquarius. I feel like this is not you. I feel like this is someone, someone else that you're dealing with here. Yeah, what else do we have for, for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, or work on when it comes to their shadow work, their shadow side here? Yeah, I really feel like this is somebody else. I'm, I'm getting more so that like this is like a sibling or something like that, or a cousin, okay? Uh, or it could be a friend. It could be anybody. You could apply this to anybody, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands here and the Strength card. Somewhere it definitely lacks a lot of self-confidence here. Okay, I do feel like whatever has happened to this person, I do feel like someone here definitely has some sort of body dysmorphic issue here too. Yeah, I mean, someone here couldn't like work out and you know, they're very muscly, you know, and someone here, uh, you know, maybe, you know, a, a, a feminine person, you know, a lady might have a beautiful, gorgeous body, you know, a model-like body and they still feel like they're ugly. Yeah, they still feel like they're ugly. So we have Nine of Wands here and the Strength card Leo energy with the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, and the Four of Cups. Whoever this is, uh, um, this person needs a splash of therapy here. Yeah, because they're, they're definitely, because of what they've been through here and what they're going through right now, this person completely has a hard time navigating through life. Yeah, um, I really feel like this is not you. This is somebody else. Yeah, this is somebody else. Eight of Cups here and the Knight of Cups. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's completely emotionally disconnected from themselves. So I feel like that's why I was picking up kind of like the, the lack of care here. Like if someone here is like someone is crying in front of somebody, like someone could give two craps about, you know, that person crying. You know, so the Nine of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Eight of Cups here. We have the uh, Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay. We have the Strength card here and the Four of Swords here. Someone here is definitely in the middle of this. There's definitely a relationship here that is struggling because of this here. And they feel like this could be you. This is you disengaging from this masculine here. Okay, yeah, typically that's Libra energy with the Queen of Swords, but yeah, it could be any of the air signs here. You completely disengage from this person here. You just don't have time for this. Yeah, you might, you might have you know, kind of like, you know, pointed things out to this person and this person kind of like completely lost their marbles on you. Yeah, uh, the Hierophant with the Knight of Wands, Aries, yeah, you know, whoever this is, I do feel like this person needs a splash of therapy here. But, you know, with the Knight of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles here, uh, this person feels like they're okay. Yeah, I mean, this person might be like a functioning neurodivergent here, you know? Uh, you, know the, uh, you know, this person could have all this going on, but this person does really well at work, you know? This person, you know, is doing really well in their career and their finances or something like that. So this person feels like they don't have anything wrong with them because, uh, you know, their work life is going pretty well, you know? So, you know, there are some people like that. You know, there are some people that, you know, deals with depression and they're like high functioning uh, individuals still. Eight of Cups here and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the uh, Knight of Cups here. And it's, yeah, whoever this is, this person's definitely carrying a lot of pain and a lot of burden here and they're not dealing with it. And it's being transferred over to somebody else here and this is you disengaging from this. Okay, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye